Hey, it's Sarah, and this is your Rock Breakdown. His name was Robert Paulson, born Marvin Lee a day, and also known as Meatloaf, and he has passed away at the age of 74. His passing has been attributed to complications with COVID-19. A statement on his Facebook page says his amazing career spans six decades that saw him sell over 100 million albums worldwide and star in over 65 movies, including Fight Club, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Wayne's World. They forgot to mention Spice World. Do you remember him in Spice World? He was the bus driver. You don't remember that, damn it. Okay, well I remember that. His 1977 debut, Bad Out of Hell, remains one of the top selling rock albums of all time. You can read plenty of tributes to Meatloaf and his amazing career over at WMMR.com. In the latest Twitter beef, in the latest Twitter, how do I say that seriously? I can't, I'm sorry, back up. In the latest Twitter beef in the music world, Damon Albarn of Blur and Gorillaz is under fire from Taylor Swift after asserting in an interview that she does not write her own songs. Dun dun dun! When the journalist interviewing Albarn for the LA Times insisted that Swift does write the songs that she performs and sometimes co-writes, Albarn said, that doesn't count. I'm not hating on anybody, I'm just saying there's a difference between a songwriter and a songwriter who co-writes. A songwriter and a songwriter who co-writes. Aren't they all writers? Taylor Swift quickly invoked the wrath of her Swifties, tweeting, you don't have to like my songs, but it's really fucked up to try and discredit my writing. Wow. P.S. I wrote this tweet all by myself in case you were wondering. Damon Albarn quickly apologized, tweeting, I totally agree with you. I had a conversation about songwriting and sadly it was reduced to clickbait. The confusing part about all of this is that in that interview, Albarn actually praised performers who are not songwriters, such as Ella Fitzgerald, and then praised Billie Eilish for her songwriting skills, but she actually co-writes a lot of her songs with Phineas. So, uh, and it doesn't really matter if you're a great performer, if you write your own songs or not. Where is my conspiracy string? This is all too many dots to connect. And now, a rock breakdown ghost story. Ooh. It's about the band. It's about the band. Thank you, though, for the dramatic effect. It's true, though, Ghost the Band kicked off a tour with new music and a new look on stage. Tobias Forge sported a flashy new coat, and the Nameless Fools now have a post-apocalyptic steampunk look. They gave a live debut to tracks from their just announced album, Impero, which arrives on March 11th. You can see footage from that show on WMMR.com, if you dare. Ooh. I'm, I'm not intimidating enough to be scary. <laughs>